Hey guys, so pretty interesting situation we're about to walk up on. So we've been getting um, email after email about this dog that's been kept in a backyard. The only reason this dog is even eating is because the neighbor is feeding the dog through the fence, but the dog does not leave the backyard. We have been trying to get the dog. Uh, they don't wanna give us the dog yet. So we're doing everything we can to take care of the dog to the best of our ability and I'm gonna take him to the groomers to get all those dead fleas off of him and to give him a fresh haircut. My hope is if we keep doing this and keep showing the owner that we just wanna take care of this dog, my hope is that she eventually surrenders the dog to us. Thank you for doing I apologize right up front. This might be very emotional for me. Oh my gosh, no. Been, this has been such a long, long haul. We're gonna go around to the front and okay. get him, but this is where I go. And Mary, she feeds him in the morning and I feed him in the afternoon and dig a little hole and make a fast. Oh my god. We're gonna walk around to the front of their house to get Joey. Okay. Because the cat Joey is his name, right? Joey is his name. Alright. And she's given it us permission to to go over and she even said yesterday she said if we want to take him and spend the day with him and Oh that's you know, great. She's, she's fine with anything. I think she's just finally realized this is what needs to be done. Okay, so, good. That's, uh, like that's great I, news. I just wanted to make sure that you know that Joey has had no contact with people. He's just been thrown out in the backyard. You said he's had no contact with anybody? Well, with, with and, yeah. and their family. But he's but never left the backyard? I don't think he's ever left the backyard. Why does she even keep him? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. And when I first approached her, she said it would just be too hard to get him up. And I said, are you keeping him for you? Or can you think about, you know, what a life he can have? Yeah. You know, because um, last winter in the snow, he was in the snow, he's been in the rain, just. So no matter, no matter the weather in Oregon, she leaves him out there. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's a husky. So one thing guys that I want you to know that if you have a, a husky that's it that, if you have a husky this couldn't be a worse situation being left alone with no exercise this could eventually get physical he could eventually get aggressive this is a working dog uh it's it's movies tv shows like game of thrones that made everyone go buy a husky from a breeder um the, the, this is not the this is not the scene. This is not the scene for them. And they're very vocal. They're very vocal. Enough. 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 This is an interesting thing here. For those of you who walk your dogs, right in front of your house isn't gonna be the most fascinating part for the dog, right? But to him, this is all a new smell. <laughs> yeah, to him, this is like a whole new world here. It's kind of interesting, right? A whole new world just 10 feet away from where he lives is 
<laughs> That's pretty remarkable. So you've never actually seen him outside of the fence. You've only fed him through it. Oh my gosh. I've yeah, got, no, when I've we got get to blocks the... stacked up where I can go over and peer over and look and he can see me. And, um, no, it's just through. Look how through, happy he used to be out, man. I know it. He just can't contain himself. He, he can't believe it. Oh, you can cry. Come on. I mean, cry. I meant like that. <laughs> This was all you. You saved him. You, you, well, you and, and I told him every day. Every day I left him. I said, I'm not going to give up on you. Oh. I will not give up. You sure didn't. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm Joey. Everybody in the neighborhood knows Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. But oh, oh, I'm only one. No. I forget you've only seen him through the fence. Yeah, he's right now. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. Good boy. What'd you think, man? Well. Oh, what a handsome man. Look at that. <laughs> good job, bro. Guys, it's been a couple weeks now, and we've been very, very persistent with Joey's owner. And after a lot of back and forth, they have agreed. Sorry, I'm just so happy right now. They have agreed to surrender Joey to us so that we can give him the care and the life that he deserves. We're gonna go get him and I'm just so thrilled for this news. I'm very excited about what's about to happen. I'm at Sweet Dog Days boarding. Uh, they also do grooming. And I'm here because I'm about to pick up Joey, the Husky. I'm very excited because we were able to convince Joey's owner to release him to the Asher house. But because he's had no activity with other dogs or people, he was left in a backyard by himself. I brought him here because Lisa, the owner, is very good with dogs. She's actually a dog trainer. And I even brought some of the pack. There's five dogs from the pack that are here to be able to meet Joey, to spend some time with him before introducing him to the entire pack all at once. I decided to do that this time because this dog has not had any contact with other dogs whatsoever. So for Joey's safety, I wanted him to meet just a few at a time and get familiar with other dogs first. You can do it, buddy. You're gonna like it once you get in. Good boy. What was that like, huh? Joey, you're really good. Joey, you're good. And of course, he still has to meet 25 other dogs right now, but I'm really glad because it's going to be such an easier transition for him and for the other dogs welcoming their new brother. Foster, of course, but still. Joey, are you ready, you beautiful boy? And we are officially welcoming Joey to the Asher house. Come on, Bentley. Good job, Joey. Roger. Come on, Rosa. It's okay. <laughs> what do you think, bud? How are you doing? This is like you, Pam Hams. You wanna get some food? Come on, guys. Get some dinner. Oh, all right, that's one way to do it. 